one of my most controversial videos was me talking about forward press and the chip. So a beginner should learn to strike the ball like this. We get in a press position, we move our hands forward, and then we try to find a nice neutral grip where we can deliver the club head square. And we're going to hit just a 10 yarder, 10 to 20 yards without breaking anything. Now, your grip can be strong in this or weak and you'll still hit it better. But we tend to get real strong the longer we try to hold the release. So if I want just a short hold with a neutral grip, I can do that from here. And that ball flies 60 yards dead straight. If I want to try to punch that and make it fly further, then my grip has to get stronger so I can control the club face. So that looks like this. And that's not a good shot unless you're punching into the wind. But there is a point to this. What I want to do is work up from the punch, which is here, which was about 80 or 90 yards, lots of spin, low ball flight, to just a little higher, almost down the line, release. Now that's going to fly about 30 yards further. Now the point here is, is that by starting to control my club face, I warm up like this every time, controlling the club face, because I'm pulling it through with the front hand and pushing with the back hand to square the face, and I can wheel this up all the way to about 130. Let me take a minute. If you've got a second, maybe click subscribe. I'm really trying to push to a thousand. It'll make my day. All right, let's get back to it. Well, let's see this from another angle. I'm going to force no release by getting forward straight away, right arm high, and I'm going to punch the ball. And it's going to fly 70 to 100 yards every single time without much release and without much lag. Now, the difference is I'm coming and I have no lag here. I go to a V position, but it's an open V and I strike in almost the same position. The higher I go from here, the more lag I must get set into the hand. So as I get higher, I can set the lag, but I can release at the same point, which means pulling through with the hands in front. So I can lag more and pull through and I'm accelerating, but I'm still in control of the club face. So here's a 130 yard shot with a pitching wedge, releasing, but still in, in control of the club face. That's the ideal way to begin ball striking. Now, to extend my ball striking, I can take a five iron and I can choke it down the pitching wedge length and I can hit the same short punch and this will go about 130. That flew more like 150. So, that was the pitching wedge. I can do the same thing with a five iron by pressing forward, gripping down, neutral grip, no release, and I can punch this right around 150 yards with a five iron. And I've got no fear of losing it left or right because I'm controlling the club face all the way through. As I gain more and more control of the club face, I can come further and further out. But when I do that, I'm going to go from a steeper swing to a more horizontal swing, and I have to remember that. That's why I work my way out. So I'm just going to do the same punch, but with the full club this time, and this should go 160, 170. So now, I can set my hands, which means up until now I've been being about here and driving. Now I can go to the down the line position and set my hands for a true release. And this ball will leave at full length for a five iron, which is about 200 yards. So these are the essentials of building up your swing from a short punch to a full swing by controlling your club head and controlling your turn. The bigger your golf swing gets, the more difficult it is to control. So start small and build up.